I have a new project. This is a saddle of a Toolco VM26, um, also known as the 626mm or the Warco VCM. Um, I've got a little bit of a problem with it, something I spotted. I don't like one shot oiling systems, especially on these um, not so expensive mills, should we say. The one shot oiling systems don't have any non return valves. They don't have metered ports and they don't have a meter in block to ensure that all points are getting oiled. One of the things I've noticed with this particular mill um, is the fact that on the front X, you've got an oil port here, which comes across and feeds the front X way. On the end of the way, there's a hole. And if I lift this up, you can see that the hole comes through and feeds the right hand Y way as well. This is not ideal because obviously this gallery is not going to maintain oil or stay full. It's going to leak straight down onto the uh, lower way. The other thing on the back X, again, it comes in through this port, travels through the casting and up to this point here. So it feeds the back X way and fills this gallery. Again, if I lift it up, you will see that the hole actually goes down as well and feeds the way at the bottom. One of the things I did notice, and I think it might be um, prudent if you have one of these machines and check, is as I said on the point here, oil enters there into the casting, it travels up and down. But unfortunately, if I dropped this pin through there, you will see that the hole actually intersects where the taper jib goes. So that means that any oil could possibly just run back in the clearance slot here and you wouldn't get any oil to the front X. I'm going to be modifying this system and taking away the one shot oiling system because I don't think using it can guarantee that you're going to get proper lubrication to all the ways on the mill. The actual main mill itself, um, on the Z-axis, you've got a lubrication port on this side. And there is a split port on that side that used to come directly from the one-shot oiler. Again, the problem is with the one-shot oiler, uh, with this position, it could deliver 80% of the oil just to the X-axis sorry the z axis and very little to the x and y keep tuned um i've got a couple of simple ideas how i'm going to solve this problem it means it's going to have separate lubrication points but these then you can monitor the oil in the ways and make sure that everything is being lubricated thank you